Today, the world remembers the one and a half million Armenians killed a hundred years ago. A march is set to begin in Hollywood this morning. That's where CBS2 Jasmine Veal is live with details and information about how the event will impact traffic. Jasmine? It's going to be quite a busy day, Rick. So this six-mile, 100-year March for Justice begins here, actually, on Hollywood Boulevard with a dedication ceremony by city officials who say that they want to show that the city of Los Angeles recognizes what the Armenian people have been through. Now, this march begins at 10 a.m., and thousands are expected to just jam the streets. For a century, Armenians have been demanding recognition for the 1.5 million people who died at the hands of the Turkish government, many on this date in 1915. This massive event today draws attention to what Armenian Americans and human rights activists are calling the first genocide of the 20th century. The Turkish Consul General of Los Angeles says the term genocide is historically wrong and politically misused. Now, the U.S. has not officially recognized these killings as genocide as Turkey is a key U.S. Partner. And now to the traffic, if you're going to be around this area and not participating in the march, most likely try to avoid it as it's going to be highly impacted. Areas closing as early as 8 a.m. The march starts at Western Avenue and Sunset Boulevard to La Brea Avenue, then all the way to Wilshire Boulevard, ending at the Turkish Consulate in the uh, Wilshire District with one or two stops along, along the way. Uh, LAPD estimating about 15,000 people to come out here and participate in the march at this point. Also, streets and intersections here back out here live. They're expected to reopen on a rolling basis when this march and gathering wraps up around 6 p.m., of course, later tonight. Keep it right here for the complete coverage of the March for Justice. Reporting live here in Hollywood, Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News.